How to write Chinese characters. There are thousands of Chinese characters, but they are all written using just a small number or a handful of basic strokes. Here, we're going to learn the 11 main strokes in Chinese. These 11 strokes are used to create all the thousands and thousands of characters that the Chinese use. Now, before you get overwhelmed at having to learn thousands and thousands of characters, the most frequently used Chinese characters only number between two and three thousand. Those are the everyday characters. Um, the average Chinese person or, or anybody would only need to know the three thousand most commonly used characters in order to be able to read an average book or a newspaper. Okay, let's get started. The strokes are very important in Chinese. They must be written in a certain way. You just can't produce these strokes in any old fashion. So in these four columns here, we have the stroke, the rule for how to write it, the name of the stroke, and an example of its use. So the first stroke is dian, and dian means dot, and it's just drawn from the top down this way to the bottom. Starting at the top, drawn down towards the bottom here. You can see the end being used right here at the top of this character. Start at the top, draw down to the bottom. The next one is hung. Hung means horizontal. And these horizontal strokes are drawn from the left to the right. Put your pen down here and draw a cross from the left to the right. You can see in this character here, the hung stroke is used three times. One, two, and three. Next is the shu. Shu in Chinese means vertical. The vertical stroke is drawn from the top to the bottom. Put your pen down at the top and draw it down to the bottom. Pen down at the top, draw down towards the bottom. Here you can see an example of shu being used in this character here right in the middle. Next we have pie. Pie is a diagonal stroke drawn falling from the left to the right. So you start with your pen on the paper here and draw it down towards the left. Put your pen on the paper here at top right and draw it down towards the left. Here you can see an example of pie being used right here. From the top, down, towards the left. Next is na. Na is a horizontal stroke drawn falling from the left to the right. You start at the top left, draw it down to the right. Start at the top left, drawn down towards the right. You can see an example of na being used right here in the lower right hand corner of this character. Next is t. t is a rising diagonal stroke. You start at the left, draw up to the right. Start at the left, draw up to the right. Left, up to the right. And here you can see an example of T being used right here in this lower left hand corner of this character. Next you have Hango. Hango. Go means hook. Um, so you have a horizontal hook, Hango. It's drawn just like a horizontal stroke from left to the right with a hook on the end. Put your pen down at the left. Draw across to the right and hook. Here's an example of hango being used at the top of this character here. Next you have shu go. Shu go means vertical stroke with a hook. It's drawn just like a vertical stroke from the top down to the bottom and then a hook. Start at the top, draw it down to the bottom and a hook. Here's an example of Shu go being used in this character here in the middle. 
Next we have xie go. Xie means diagonal. Go, you know, means hook. It's a slanted stroke drawn with a hook at the end. So you start up here at the top and draw down towards the right and hook it. Start at the top, draw down towards the right and hook it. Here's an example of it being used here. Start at the top, draw down towards the right and hook it. Next is hang zhe. Hang zhe is a horizontal stroke with a vertical stroke. You start here at the top left, draw horizontally to the right, and then down to the bottom. Start at the top left, draw horizontally to the right, down at the bottom. Here's an example. This just looks like a square here, but actually when you draw this character, this stroke, you have to start here at the top left, draw to the right, and then down towards the bottom. Then you have the shu zhe. Shu zhe is just the vertical stroke with a, with a horizontal turn to the right. So you start here, the top left, draw down, and then to the right. Start the top left, draw down, and to the right. Here's an example of that here. Okay, now that you've learned the basic strokes, uh, we can start looking at the rules on how characters are written with those strokes. So here we have in yellow, with the yellow background, a Chinese character. And then to the right of it, you can see the strokes in the order in which they're drawn. This character has three strokes. Here are the order, here's the order in which the three strokes are drawn. This character is drawn with four strokes. Here is the order in which it's drawn. Okay, rule number one. Characters are drawn from the top down. Strokes at the top are drawn before those at the bottom. So you see in this character here, the first stroke is the horizontal stroke. The next stroke is the vertical stroke. And then this slant and diagonal stroke, this way. In this example, this is a four character stroke. The first stroke is the horizontal. Then you have this horizontal with the vertical. And then this line, this horizontal stroke in the middle is drawn. And then last, this stroke at the bottom is drawn. So this is an example of how strokes are drawn from the top down. Here's a special case. L the left side of squares are drawn before the top. Okay, So you'll notice here that the rule is top down, but when you have squares, the left side is drawn first. Here's the first stroke, and then here's the second stroke. The third stroke is the horizontal in the middle. The last stroke is the final stroke. Next rule. Left strokes are drawn before the strokes to the right. Okay, So here we have a character that's basically three vertical lines. This line is drawn first. This line is drawn second. And then this line is drawn third. The exception here is that the hook on the right side comes first. Okay, So characters are drawn from left to right, but in this character here, this piece here is drawn before this piece here. So here's the first stroke. Here's the second stroke. Here's the third stroke. Here's the fourth stroke. Rule number three, horizontal lines in squares. Okay, In these, the horizontal lines in the squares are drawn before crossing vertical lines. Okay, So in this character, you see this vertical line drawn down the middle. That's actually the last stroke in the character. 
So the first stroke is this stroke, and then here's the second stroke, here's the third stroke, and then here is the last stroke. Okay, the exception being that bottom lines are always drawn last. So you'll notice in this character, this bottom line here is drawn last. Following the top down rule, stroke one, stroke two, the vertical line, stroke three, and then the final line is stroke four. Rule four, frames before contents. So the outside is drawn and then the inside. Okay? So here you have a character that looks like a square with a cross in it. Here's how it's drawn. It's a one, two, three, four, five stroke character. Here's the first stroke. Here's the second stroke. Here's the third stroke. Here's the fourth stroke. And here's the fifth stroke. This character must be drawn in this order. First stroke, second stroke, third stroke, fourth stroke, fifth stroke. Rule number five, center before symmetrical sides. Okay, so in a character like this with symmetrical sides, this stroke is the one that's drawn first. Here's the first stroke, here's the second stroke, here's the third stroke. First stroke, second stroke, third stroke. And then finally, secondary dots are drawn last. So these dots, these dots are going to be drawn last in the character. Here's the first stroke, here's the second stroke, Here's the third stroke, here's the fourth stroke, and then the fifth stroke. So these two dots were drawn last. And that's it. Now don't be overwhelmed. A lot of this may be hard to remember, but in each unit, in the write it section, here, as shown in unit one, is you're going to be reminded the order and the direction in which these strokes are written. And also, in your character workbook, each character they show you in the workbook which stroke is first, which stroke is second, which stroke is third, and so on. So you have all the instruction you need right there to be able to write these characters successfully um, for your homework assignments. That concludes this video for how to write Chinese characters. If you have any questions, email me call me or post a question here in the Ask the Instructor section. 再见。